So for everyone who's been acting as if those emails were altered and Jared was being set up and none of this was true, he's literally stated to one of his friends that the emails between him and his cousin are his official statement on the issue. Hmm. Um, somebody also said, well, these emails could be fabricated. You know, somebody could have wrote these. Jared, Jared couldn't have, you know, they, he didn't write these, stuff like that. Um, but Jared has already um, said that his official statement is uh, the emails back and forth between him and his cousin. Um, I got that text from him because I first, I reached out to him and I was like, hey, I heard about what's going on, you know. I want you to know, because this is before I knew anything, and I thought he was my friend. So I told you, know, I sent him a text. I was like, hey, I heard what's going on, dude. I got your back if you need anything. You know, that was me, my first reaction, because I thought maybe I had a friend getting railroaded. But that's me jumping the gun too fast before I knew what the hell was going on. And that was dumb on my part. But he did write back, very generic message, saying, my official statement is what I wrote back and forth to my cousin. That's public on Reddit. So anybody can read these. Now, the relationship between these two men goes back years. Exploring with Nug has apparently been close with Jared since before there was ever an Adventures with Purpose. He states right here that their friendship and relationship goes back to whenever Jared only had like 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. They've known each other for a really long time. And when this first came out, I was watching him jump into all these different lives, comment on videos, trying to figure out what was going on, taking up for Jared, just like he says in this video that he did. And Jared admitted to him, someone extremely close to him, that his official statement for this was in those emails. That is proof of ownership, if I've ever heard it.